DIY maniac here. So sorry about the cramped space. I'm in my bathroom uh, with my washing machine and I was having an issue with my LG top loading washing machine. Uh, so I wanted to tell you the problem I'm having and the fix I found, uh, the repair. So if any of you guys are having issues with your washing machines, maybe this fix will help you guys out. So the issue I was getting was I was noticing in my basement, there was a bit of a leak coming from this floor. And I went behind the washing machine and I noticed down by the wall, there was some moisture. So leaking from the washing machine, from underneath the washing machine or behind it. Like usual, you know, you would come and you would check all your hoses for wetness, the drain hose as well, the connections at the machine, everything was dry. So I said, okay, where's the moisture coming from? So I pulled the machine out and I pulled off the back panel and I'm going to show you what I saw. Once again, sorry about the cramped space. So I went in behind the washing machine and I removed the back panel. If your machine is like mine, there is a service panel that covers that. It's just a thin piece of metal held in by four screws and then locked into these little tabs. So you remove the four screws, two on each side, and you slide up on the panel and out and you can take it off. And what I saw was a lot of, I'll put a flashlight on, a lot of moisture at the bottom. And like most leaks, when you're diagnosing a leak, whether it's in your car or your house, start at the bottom and keep working up. Follow the moisture to see where it's coming from. So I followed, I followed, I followed, and it came all the way to the top. Let's see if I can get you guys under here. Right, you see there's a hole there? I'll try to point to it right here and what that hole is is a drain like an overflow drain where excess water could drain from so now we're going to go back in front of the machine and i'll show you what that drain does and why water was coming out of it so hold on let me get back to the front of the machine we're back at the front of the machine and i'm going to show you the steps i took to diagnose the problem which involves removing the complete top portion of the washer now the fix does not in, uh, need for you, have a need for you to remove this top portion. There's a way to do the fix without doing that. But I want to show you guys the steps that I took to diagnose the problem to see what the fix was going to be. So what we need to do is on this particular model, we have four fasteners, four screws that hold the top portion on. There's two in the front underneath these little caps. To remove the caps, you just take a knife or a small screwdriver, put in the little slot, and pry up, it's gonna to wanna to fly away, so you have to be careful. So you'll pry those out. And in the back of the washer, you'll see two fasteners on either side, right here, a Phillips, or probably it looks like maybe a, a 10 millimeter screw. But just use a Phillips screwdriver. You got one on the left side, and you have one on the right side beside the vent. Uh, let's see if I can show you guys right there. You can see it right there. So you re we're going to remove those four fasteners and that's going to allow us to lift the whole top off. So let me go ahead and remove those and I'll show you what I saw. So with the four fasteners removed, you could see I opened the top. It's not hinged. So keep in mind, it's just resting on those plastic pins. There is a wiring harness in the back. So be careful of that. You can't just pull the top off unless you go in behind and unplug the wiring harness. But for my troubleshooting, opening it as such in a hinging manner allowed me to see what the possible issue was. So what I noticed was, if we look there, you could see that little grate or little grill. That's where I showed you underneath where the water was leaking out, that little hole. So it's almost like an overflow. And in along, you can see this little channel. You kind of see some moisture in there. It's almost like a uh, overflow. There should not be water in there. But if water does get in there, there's that drain that lets it out through the back. So why was water getting in that channel is the question I wanted to ask. So first I cleaned out the channel, there was some lint in there, and then I traced it back to where it was wet. And it was only wet on that portion of the channel. On this side it was dry. So that told me, okay, the water's leaking somewhere around here. And what I ended up diagnosing the issue being is the bleach or Javel dispenser. Basically what happens is you put your bleach in the dispenser and there's this little catch tray here. The bleach drips down into here. 
that dispenses into the washing machine. But also in that dispenser, there's a hose that runs to it. And there's your little hole where the bleach comes out. Well, water comes out of there as well. I don't use bleach in this machine or I haven't in a long time, but water regardless will pass through here to flush it out. Because I guess it always thinks you have bleach in there. So it'll constantly run water. So what happens is there, that little spout where the water and bleach come out sits over this tray that does lead into the machine, but high off. So it's a stream that comes down, fills this tray and then into these holes and into the machine. Water was somehow getting up and over. So first I said, maybe these holes are blocked and it's not draining into the machine. Boil some hot water, poured it in, it came right through. There was no blockage. So first step, check these holes. Maybe that's the cause. It's filling with water and flowing this way. My cause was the little orifice, the hole here for the bleach dispenser had a bunch of gunk in it. It was all like, like a slime that had built up. So what was happening was the water was still coming out, but because it had like a slimy deposit inside the hole, the water, instead of coming out as a nice stream, and filling into this tray and eventually into the machine, it was kind of squirting sideways. And that little squirting sideways was causing the water to flush over this little lip and into that little overflow uh, canal and up that vent. So the repair was basically just washing out that. What I did is I removed this whole tray. There's three Phillips screws, one, two, and three. I removed the whole tray. Uh, passed the screwdriver through the hole just to clean all the gunk out, cleaned out the tray. But once again, you don't even have to do that. Um, all you need to do is pour some boiling hot water with some vinegar through the dispenser, which is right here, and flush it out. But you know what? I mean, that's probably the, an easy way to do it without having to go to the extent of removing this whole cover. Uh, but I found taking everything apart, removing the dispenser, you know, getting in there to really be able to clean it out really helps. I don't know if just pouring hot boiling water and some vinegar in here, it might work. First thing you could try to see if it works. And if that fails, then obviously you could go to more extensive measures like I did and remove everything. Anyways, guys, quick little video in case any of you have this problem of leaking in behind the machine. First step to do, clean out that dispenser, flush some hot water, maybe clean out the gunk that's in there. If that's not working, maybe even um, lift up the cover like I did, or you could even get into it from here. You can maybe try to get your fingers clean stuff out, whatever works best for you. So I hope the video was useful for you guys. If you have this problem, let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. Thanks a lot for watching, guys.